Welcome again, saints. It is your dearest, dearest servant, Brother Dale from St. Mark Baptist Church in Waterloo, Iowa. Hey, coming to you with our nine minutes, 59 seconds or less Sunday school lesson review. And again, I want you to like and subscribe, like this video and subscribe to this channel, of course. But I also want you when you're done here or at any point to go down into the description section of this video and click for the full lesson, 29 minutes, 59 seconds or less. Hallelujah. Lesson four, December 25th, 2022. Uh, God prepares a way open to being chosen. And the key verse is Luke 1, 46 to 47. Mary said, my soul does magnify the Lord and my and my spirit hath rejoiced in God, my savior. And when we, when we talk about this, we talk about this young girl uh, being chosen by God. And it's interesting because what we find out here is that one of the, one of the, uh, things that happened before this is that uh, she was visited by this angel and said, you're going to conceive uh, the, the Holy Spirit. And she said, how, you know, you're going to have, this son's going to be born. And she said, well, how, how is that possible? I don't know a man. And and the, the rest of the message was given. I'm not going to rehash that. We know what that message is. But she was totally open to being chosen by God for a work that would change the world. And I am sure she, she was praising as this young girl, but she didn't understand the magnitude. She understand God was going to use her, but she didn't understand the magnitude, obviously, of all of this. Because you remember, even when Jesus was born, in his in and people kept coming to her saying this stuff, and and her and Joseph, Bible said they pondered these things in their heart, like what is, what are these people saying, right? Uh, and and it's interesting because again, God will give us things to do, and one of the beauties about show and she was what we would call probably a, a, a teenager. She was the thirteen, fourteen, you know, whatever that age was. But she was a young woman, right? But at the same, or a young girl, basically. But I think at the same time. One of the reasons God uses them, just like the Hebrew boys, because you have to remember in, in, in Hebrew culture, boys, that means they hadn't reached a certain age to be considered men. And then you could say if this is the age 12, whatever that is, I don't know. Jesus was how old in the temple when he was doing his thing? They call him boy 12, right? So we could talk about that uh, in another video. But it's amazing that oftentimes children are much more open to being used by God for incredible works. There was another young lady uh, that was super young that was used by the Lord in a mighty way too. And her name was Esther. You remember Esther? So we got obviously Jesus in the temple. Then we have Mary being used. Then we got the Hebrew boys. Then we got this uh, young Esther, right, being used. And when we go throughout the scriptures, we find that oftentimes young people are, are more open to being chosen and, and used by God in a mighty way. And the reason is they don't think things through. But here's the thing about God. We also realize that no matter how old you get, you can still be used by God in a mighty way. The difference is, and as the title for December 25th today says, you have to be open to being chosen by God for that work. Because I know a man that was in his um, late 50s before God called him to preach. I mean, he, he was the real deal. Uh, Reverend Wallace Holloman, he was, he is, he's the real deal. Holloman was the real deal. And he was called later in life. But Holloman was open to being chosen. And he was probably one of the most humble people I know now that Rev, well, he wasn't no punk. You know, don't, you don't get it twisted. He'll, he'll say what's up. He was super confrontational. He ain't play. But he was open to being chosen by God. So I'm not saying exclusively. But I, I want to, us to understand that when we read down through here, Mary, in order to her to get to this place of praise, she had to be open to be for God to get his praise through. And I'm going to say this to begin again. In order for Mary to get through this place of praise where our key verse says, Luke 1, 46, 47, Mary said, my soul does magnify the Lord and my spirit hath rejoiced in God, my savior. Now, this was in a conversation with Elizabeth. I believe it was. Uh, I haven't read into this lesson yet, uh, but I do. Uh, memory serves. This is a conversation with Elizabeth. But she had to first be open to being used by God before she ever opened her mouth in this way to praise God. And I would say this, is that there's a pre-preparation process you have to go through before you can get through your praise. There's a pre-preparation process you have to go through before you get to your praise. And when we talk about that, just reminding you at any point, just go down and click the uh, and the, the full lesson link in the description section of this video. Saints, you can't, God is not going to use you until you are first open to being used. 
That's just how it is because he's not going to violate your free will. And you're talking about, oh my God, I, my praise ain't what it should be. Uh, I ain't praying the Lord like I used to. Something going on and maybe it's my prayer life. Maybe it's this, maybe it's that. Well, maybe it's just that you aren't as open to being used by God as you think you are. So when it comes to these sorts of things, being open to being used, we have to remember too that Mary's response to being chosen was be it according to your will. Even though she didn't necessarily understand it, she said, be it according to your will. And I'm saying today, you don't have to be a child to be open to be it, be according to your will. You just have to be open to being used by God. And the problem becomes Mary in agreeing to this, put herself in a dangerous place. At that time, without a husband and, and pregnant with a child would equal death according to the law of Moses. She was supposed to be stoned according to the law of Moses. But Joseph, the Bible tells us, wasn't uh, open to her being made a public example. So he took her and put her away in this. So it wasn't none of that nasty stuff we we, we getting on with here in America. Where, these, where, where even women, like in the church, are like having children with their friend and, and talking about what a, having baby showers. Like they're married and they're like brought you, you know, a, a children out of wedlock into the world. And I'm not saying this for you people that haven't come to Jesus yet. I'm talking about the church people who said they know better and believe better. So it wasn't like we do it today, especially with our sisters, man. It's having babies by these dudes and, you know, the, the laid up, not married and, and competing for resources with these other baby mamas that he got kids all over the place. That wasn't what they was getting down with here. This was serious business to be having a baby by a man you would, a, a baby by someone you wouldn't marry to. And especially her testimony about how the baby was conceived. So Mary, but Mary, even despite all of that, her understanding uh, some things that being young, a woman and uh, unmarried would, would cost her her life. She was still open to being used by God. And what I want to tell you as I close here today is whatever that thing is, it may not make sense to you, but the Bible says his thoughts, God's thoughts are not our thoughts, neither are his ways, our ways, declares the Lord. So that becomes important because what he may be asking you to do is so beyond your comprehension. And you may say to yourself, well, his word says this, but you're asking me, Lord, to like do something. Talk to the Lord about that. Right. Because according to the law of Moses, she should have been stoned. That's according to the law of Moses. But God was doing a new thing. Right. And we know that he was going to bring God himself was coming into the world, which was a new thing. So when I say that, be open, no matter how out there. Now, God is going to confirm that thing in you. The devil will get will try to get the devil knows the word as well. And just like Jesus, he will come to you with something that sounds even word. And you may you be like, oh, man, that sounds good. Just try those spirits, whether they be of God or not. And God will confirm that thing in you. But you first have to be open to being chosen by God for that mighty work. Go down to the description section. Get the full lesson. So be it. Welcome again, saints. It is your dearest servant, brother, Pastor Brian Dale. I am asking you right now to go to the description section of this video and click the link for sermondownload.net. We want you to take the next step. We buy, you buy devotionals, you buy Bible studies, you buy books uh, from religious leaders, all of these things. We want you to go straight to the source, into the mind of God, which are pastoral sermon notes. That's where these things originate at. So you can see straight into the process and how God deals with us as we deliver our word. These are good for Sunday morning preaching. All you can do is just print and preach. They're ready to go. You can pull them up on any device, smartphone, all the way up to your tablet devices. You can also use them as Bible study content as well. Further, if you lean into that a bit further, we have a 104 sermon package where you can download 104 sermons and saints, you could turn this into books, devotionals. Our notes are thorough. They're doctrinal. They're theological. We want you to go to sermondownload.net by clicking in the link the description section of this video. So be it.